Native American actor in Las Vegas has been arrested on some crazy charges. Who is it? What did they do? And what's going to happen if these allegations actually come out to be true? I got all that and much more. That's right. This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Profile Stories. Let's get it. So if you've seen the movie Dances with Wolves, you definitely would recognize this man. He played the character Smiles a lot in the blockbuster movie. The Native American actor? Well, his name is Nathan Chasing Horse. He's been arrested in Las Vegas, like I said, on some wild, crazy charges. Now, oddly enough, when he was arrested, it was at his North Las Vegas home, and he was there with his five wives. This investigation, well, it's been going on since October of last year, when the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department was tipped off by the Canadian Royal Mounted Police. After this investigation, the 46-year-old actor has obviously landed himself in the Clark County Detention Center. What are his charges? Mm. One count of first-degree child abuse. Two counts of trafficking an adult person for scumbag purposes. An account of a Jared from Subway charge with a victim under 16. Now, for three of those charges, he has a $45,000 bond total. For the other two, the ones that actually involve underage, he has zero bond. He's not getting out on that, at least for now. Now, Metro, they're alleging this man, he's a serial predator. They say multiple countries, multiple states. He's been running around doing his thing. Now, what is that thing? Well, they say that Nathan Chasing Horse started his own religious cult, basically, called The Circle. What he was doing, allegedly, is grooming young girls. It's been going on for about 20 years now. He started it in South Dakota. They've been to Montana. They've been to Nevada. They've been up to Canada, obviously. And now they're back down in Nevada. So Nathan Chasing Horse, he sees himself as the medicine man or the holy man. That's what he would call himself. He's the leader of this circle. So far, Metro has said that they have found six victims. That's all going to change. I'm 100% of that. As the news breaks and people start to find out about it, there will be more to come forward. If you are one of these victims and you so happen to somehow be watching my little podcast, please tell somebody. You don't have to fear anything. All this power that this man held over you, now you can turn it and you can use it against him. This is you taking control of your life right now. Just speak up. Now, according to Metro, Nathan would allegedly start grooming these young girls as young as 13 years old. Then once they turned 16, he would move them in and they would become his spiritual wives. Obviously, this is not a legal marriage, but nothing's legal about what this dude's doing, obviously. So he would bring these girls in. He would tell them things like he can heal their mother, their sick mother, if they do this with him. Then he would dope them up with high doses of THC, and then he would Jared from Subway. Now, he had one of these spiritual wives, and she said, hey, I'm leaving you. Well, that's when Nathan came, and he said, you're not leaving like that. You're going to have to do something to leave. You're going to have to get with my bros. Now, of course, she, she declined. She said, no, I'm not doing that. Well, Nathan beat her until she accepted that offer. That's horrible. This dude's a world-class scumbag, and I know it's all allegedly and all that. Get out of here. This is from these women's mouths. This is from multiple. Six of them have already come forward, finally finding their voice. It's hard to say allegedly when I'm doing this story. That's a fact. Now, not only that, for the last two years, Nathan would set up these rendezvous, either in his house or at hotels, and he would have the girls blindfolded. Well, he did this under the guise that he was being with these girls. But the truth is, it was unidentified men that were being with his spiritual wives. How did they know? One of them slipped the blindfold and saw somebody that they had never seen before. Now, Nathan, of course, he comes and he tells them, I would never do that to you. He's, he promised them it was only me. 
Well, guess what, Nathan? None of that matters because what you're doing to them is monstrous anyway. Nobody cares. You're trying to make them feel better because what? What you're doing isn't bad enough? Now, allegedly, Nathan actually broke one of the spiritual wife's noses and tore her shoulder out of place. Instead of taking her to a hospital or a doctor to get it fixed, he declined. She wasn't allowed to go anywhere. So what does she have to do? She gets on YouTube, finds out how to set her own nose and pop her shoulder back into place, and she had to do it on her own. Now, Nathan was banished from his reservation. A few years ago, there were allegations of human trafficking coming from that reservation, coming from Nathan. The reservation had enough, they booted him out. So he went on the road with his little circle or whatever you want to call it, just this sick, sick cult that he has going on. The good thing is, is although it's early, there's going to be many, many, many more charges going to be stacked onto this guy. He's never going to get out again. I can promise you that. His only way out is going to be self-termination. There's zero chance that this dude will see the free world again. Now, what's his life like in CCDC, in the Clark County Detention Center? Well, I'm sure it's pretty awful. For a fact, this dude is locked straight down. He's not going to be out with any type of normal inmates in the Clark County Detention Center. He's definitely not going to be sitting over in South Tower. I just don't see that happening unless it's like some sort of Jared from Subway pod that they got going on down there. I don't see that happening. He's got to be in North Tower. These are awful, awful crimes. And it, there's zero chance they're going to let him just mingle around. So what happens if he gets convicted in Nevada of this? Well, he will be sent to Lovelock. He'll have to do the fish tank over at High Desert or the PC unit at High Desert, but that's highly unlikely. They're going to move this man to the PC yard in Lovelock. Hopefully, the way Nevada gets down is, say you have a dropout gang member, they won't put them near these type of people, even on a PC yard, because they have been known to move on them. The first chance that any stand-up convict has at getting this guy, they're probably going to get this guy. But I don't even think that he's going to go to prison in Nevada. The feds are obviously going to pick this case up. We're talking about multiple countries and multiple states. That means that he has been doing this with young girls across state lines. Then when you add in the trafficking portion of it, this is a fed case. This is feds written all over it. Now, what's going to happen with that? It's always hard to tell what's going to go on with the feds. They'll blow your mind all the time, but I promise you this, the feds are not going to give him a plea deal or anything that will ever show him being free again. This dude is washed up, and that's what he, that's what he gets. That's where he belongs. This dude has been running around victimizing young girls and thinking that it's okay under the guises of he's a spiritual healer or whatever. You're a con man, bro, and a, and a bro. You're, you're a chomo. You're Jared from Subway. That's where he's going to go. Him and Jared will probably be bunkies. And that's the way it should be. They should never let somebody like this ever, ever roam the streets again. And it's sad. It's sad because the Native culture and the Native American culture, I mean, they're already being so depleted in numbers. And then you have this guy who does this type of thing. There's already so much going on in the Native world, on the reservations, sending each other to the upper room to alcoholism and, and dope and just all these crazy things that are just ravishing these these reservations and then you have this dude running around handpicking the people that were going to repopulate the reservation and he's turned them into victims that's horrible that's horrible these girls are just gonna they're gonna go off into the world and try and live their life and i doubt they'll ever go back to the reservation because that's what they're going to think of when they get there. Who would want to live like that? This makes me wish that there was a death penalty for cases like this. If there was ever a time where somebody needs that, it's this man. He didn't do it to just one or two. That would have been horrible enough in its own right. This dude had five 
spiritual wives, as he called them, which is five victims, six victims. And I'm sure that there's got to be 10 to 15 more. So if the feds or Nevada or whatever, they stack all this up on him, I mean, he'll get a 20 to life on each one of the charges, each one of the big ones, and they're not going to run it concurrent. It's going to be consecutive. So this dude's going to end up at the, at the end of the day, he's probably at least looking at six life sentences as of right now. But that's not enough. That's not enough for what he's done. It's just horrible. So this is all brand new to us. I will be watching this. As it goes on, I will be steadily watching what's happening with this case. And then I'll report it. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to follow it as close as possible. Thank you for coming to Vegas Profile Stories. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am.